Texas lawmakers have filed bills to limit where drag shows can be held. KVU's Darenisha Heron spoke with one of the representatives behind the push. Darenisha. Brian and Quita, State Representative Jared Patterson is just one of three lawmakers who's filed bills that would make it illegal for a business to host a drag show unless it's classified as a sexually oriented business. Patterson says this legislation is about protecting Texas kids. I spoke with the owner of a drag entertainment company who says it's not fair to paint all drag shows with the same brush. So this is my first extra gram ever that we did. A business built to bring joy during the pandemic. It was someone's birthday and her husband had us come and celebrate her. Carrie Lynn is the owner of Extragrams, a drag entertainment service. Weddings, corporate entertainment, virtual bingos, um, all sorts of things. Lynn says business was booming. Recently, Extragrams drag queens performed at the city of Austin's all age New Year's celebration. <laughs> It's drag shows like these with children in attendance that some Republican lawmakers are trying to limit. If you want to be a sexually oriented business, that's fine, uh, but you need to play by the same rules as everyone else does. State Representative Jared Patterson filed a bill that would make it illegal for restaurants and bars to host drag shows unless they were defined as a sexually oriented business the same classification as a strip club. We're trying to tailor a bill to say that the sexually suggestive drag shows uh, where grown men wear women's underwear and see children to stuff dollar pills into their underwear, uh, we don't want that to occur in the state of Texas. The bill would impact zoning and taxes for businesses that host drag shows. In Austin, sexually oriented businesses cannot be within a thousand feet of places like libraries, museums, schools, and daycares. So for it to be classified as a, as a whole, um, as a sexually oriented art, is just wrong. It's just absolutely wrong. Anytime we know that there are going to be children present or there's going to be a younger audience, we always make sure to curate it so that it's appropriate. Lynn says since lawmakers started pushing bills like this, performers have seen more threats and have had to cancel shows. It's shocking to see that our representatives are choosing to wage a war on artists. They're choosing to wage a war on performers who just want to exist and be fabulous and entertain and bring joy. I don't want a big heavy handed government coming down, but I think that we need to protect the innocence of our children. Patterson admits the bill is broad and the language needs to be tightened to target those sexually explicit shows. He says that's why they filed the bill so early so they can get some feedback. Quita and Brian Lynn says she is open to showing lawmakers the joy behind drag for people of all ages. KVU's Darenisha Heron live for us here in the studio tonight. Thank you, Darenisha.